Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala he said wa majalatu da'wati kathira he said there are many opportunities for da'wah there are many different events or occasions or situations or opportunities that a person finds their self in that are opportunities for da'wah opportunities to share something of benefit to share some beneficial knowledge to advise people for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to encourage people to encourage yourself and to encourage others to improve in your religion he says minha da'wa to ila Allah bil khitaba wa ilqa al muhadharat of course you have the da'wa that is done by way of giving the khutbah and by those who are qualified and able to to give lectures wa minha da'wa ila Allah bil mubalaghat and by and one of the means of da'wa is to pass off information to pass off information mind you that the shaykh died more than 20 years ago rahimahullah ta'ala and today the ways that we have to share information by way of the telephone and by way of the internet and by way of social media and so on and so forth that they are abundant that they are abundant and they are a two-edged sword people use technology for great detriment and harm and to waste their time and others they use technology for great benefit and everything in life has a potential for benefit and harm it has a potential for benefit and harm so by way of conveying information by way of conveying information wa min hada'wa tu ila Allah bi halaqat al-'ilm from the avenues of da'wa are the lessons the lessons I and mean, the circles of knowledge wa min hada'wa ila Allah bi ta'lif from the ways to invite to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is authorship to write wa nashr al-din an tariq al-ta'lif and to spread the religion by way of authoring books or publishing books and the likes of these things wa min hada'wa tu ila Allah fi al-majalis al-khasa another way to invite to Allah is to take advantage and opportun and the opportunity to call to Allah and to advise other people in private gatherings and in people's homes or these sorts of things and when people come together that people use the opportunity when they are sitting with other people to encourage each other and to spread beneficial knowledge fa idha jalisa al-insan fi majlis fi da'wati mathalan fa hu fa hadha majal li da'wati ila Allah azza wa jal walakin yanbaghi an takuna ala wajh la malala fihi wala wala ithqal he says but you must do that in a way that doesn't bore people and if you are to speak about religion in a private gathering where people have gathered over food where people have gathered just to hang out or that sort of thing that you do that in a way that doesn't bore people and that isn't burdensome for them and you want to share knowledge in a way where people are interested and where they're not disinterested as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said wadhakir fadhakir in nafa'at dhikra and remind them so long as the reminder benefits remind them so long as the reminder benefits so if people are disinterested and people are talking about things that are permissible things to talk about and you just interject and you change the subject matter and want to talk about something religious and nature and that sort of thing then they may not be interested in what you have to say and they may be falling upon deaf ears it may be falling upon deaf ears and you don't want the religion to be uh something that is burdensome for people so alhamdulillah a person they use wisdom and they do things in a way that is tactful wa yahsuru hadha bi an ya'rid ad-da'iya mas'alatan 'ilmiya 'ala al-jalisin thumma tabtadi al-munaqasha wa ma'lum an al-munaqasha wa su'al wa al-jawab lahu dawrun kabir fi fahmi ma anzala Allah 'ala rasulihi wa tafhimihi he said in the way that this is done as by somebody who is knowledgeable bringing up a knowledge based issue in a private sitting in a private sitting and he, and starting a discussion with those who are sitting there starting a discussion with those who are sitting there asking questions 
and hearing their responses. They call this ithra al mawdur and he and he starting a topic, starting a topic, and he bringing up a topic of interest that people may not be aware of. You ask a question that is something that a person would think that they should know, something connected to other things that they know that may not be common knowledge, but is connected to other things that they are generally familiar with, that people generally are familiar with. And you ask people a question about the salat, you ask people a question about the adhan, you ask people a question about basic issues of the religion, basic issues of the religion, and he connected to al-adab, mathalan, and he connected to the mannerisms of eating and drinking, the mannerisms of al Mujalasa of sitting and congregating, the mannerisms of being in the company of people, the mannerisms and the etiquettes of giving the salams and these sorts of things, to remind people of things that they may have learned in the past, for example, and have forgotten. There are so many things that we hear on a weekly basis or may come across even on a daily basis that if you were to be asked, asked about a week later or two weeks later or a month later that you have forgotten. And so... It's a reminder, it's mudakara, it's a form of sharing information and reviewing what we've already learned and teaching people who may never have heard certain issues, uh, discussed things that they haven't yet learned. He said, and so this is a well-known method that is used, and this was the way of many of the scholars in the past in educating and teaching in the form of questions and answers, to the point that entire books have been written that are like that. And he books that teach important issues of the religion in question and answer format. In question and answer format. 